Derek will fit this together. Just going to go over some exercises today on the functional trainer. One of our favorite machines here, Fitness Together. It uses cable resistance, which personally I like a lot because not only are you fighting against gravity with the weight on the machine, but it also pulls you back towards the, uh, towards the machine. So you've got to use a lot of core stabilization, a lot of shoulder stabilization so that you don't go flying back with it. So you really attack a lot of muscle groups uh, doing each exercise on the functional trainer. So first up, this is a full body movement. It's called a squat and chop, very functional for golfers, not so much the squat part, but the chop motion with the upper body. Uh, it's, it simulates a golf swing, and you can do it on either side, so whether it's for lefties or raised, it's a great functional movement. So we're going to start here, a squat stance, toes are pointed nice and straight, elbows are straight as well. We're going to squat down, that handle's in front of the knee, and as you come up from that squat, you can diagonally chop to about your forehead. Keep your chest up, do not hunch over like this. Sit down with your butt and your hips back. Repeat. And obviously you can do it the other way as well. For each exercise we do, I recommend anywhere from two to three sets per exercise. Anywhere from eight to 15 reps uh, for the rep range depending on what your goals are. Uh, for this exercise, since you're doing both sides, I generally do about 10 reps per side because it gets pretty aerobic by the time you get through the second set on that second side. Um, next exercise we're going to do, we're going to bring these guys up a little bit. One of our favorite push motions here, we're going to do a chest press, very similar to what you would do with dumbbells on the bench and working the same muscle, muscle groups as you would with a push up. So you're going to bring those cables out, split your stance, I like to keep my weight a little more on the front leg, so on the back, it puts a lot, if it's on the back leg it puts a lot of strain on your back and also it could make you fall back into the machine which isn't very good. When you split that stance, keep your chest up. We're going to have an overhand grip. We're going to push out and together. Come back slowly. And you don't want to go so far back to strain your rotator cuffs. So you want to end with about your elbows perpendicular or so to your torso. You're able to see your hands at all times. Come together, bend the elbows back, like so. My recommendation for returning the handles to the machine are bringing your elbows in and coming back. Until they click. If you just let them go, it's not very good for your rotated cuff. And we never want you to get injured. Third exercise we're going to do, another full body movement. This one is called the squat and row. So we just did a push movement. This is more of a pull movement. We also get the lower body involved as well. Keep your chest up. We have a squat stance. Your toes pointed nice and straight. As you squat down, let those cables take you a little bit. Keep your chest up, but the arms are going to straighten out. As you come back up from that squat, keep your elbows tucked in and pull back. Down and down, up and up. Arms straighten when you come down, come up from that squat, and pull. Exercise like that, since it's a very smooth rhythm, I like to go upwards of 15 reps. Uh, the exercise does go by kind of quick, so that upper rep range will help get your heart rate up a little bit as well. Um, next exercise we're going to do, we're going to bring these guys back up here. We're going to go into that same position as you would for that press. What you can also do is if you go to a next set, you can uh, split your stance the other way. As you do get a little bit of work in the lower body, having to keep your, uh, your torso stabilized. So what we're going to do is keep those cables in here, push them out to begin the exercise. Uh, keep a neutral grip on the handles. We're going to open slowly. Again, do not go past... Uh, perpendicular as you'll strain the rotator cuff. Come back together, open slowly, come back together. These are called cable flies, really isolating the chest. You get a little work in the biceps as well. Open, close, slowly open, close, and again, when you return them to the machine, bring them in towards your torso and walk back. And the last exercise I'm going to show you today, another pull movement. This one can be performed standing, sitting on a stability ball, laying on a bench even. What we're going to do here is do it on one knee. This helps stabilize your body the best, so you're able to use the, uh, the most amount of weight as possible. Um, not that we want you to, to overdo it or anything like that, but nonetheless to really uh, give your pull muscles, give your lats, give your biceps a challenge. I believe this stance is best for doing that. You're going to split it on the back knee, 
at 90 degrees and on the front knee at 90 degrees. Keep your chest up. If you keep your chest up, you get a nice stretch in your back hip flexor, okay? Chest is up. We're gonna pull these guys right in, neutral grip towards the torso, repeat. Couple different ways we can do the pull down here. That was with the neutral grip. You can do an overhand grip. What this is gonna do is work your upper back more, your rhomboids, your middle traps. We're gonna pull down with the elbows out. Back up and down with the elbows out. This is great for posture. So for example, those who sit a lot during the day at their desk, you got a little bit of a hunchback thing going on. Overhand pull down can really help uh, bring those shoulders back and help your posture. So that's a handful of exercises we do a lot here at Fitness Together on these functional trainers. Uh, enjoy using them. You can find those uh, obviously at NEFT and any gym. And uh, keep up the good work. Thanks.